Hello, this is part 2, Aim Offset. And this is the animation blueprint. And this is the aim offset. The aim offset enables the character to aim the gun at what you're pointing at. And that's what we're going to create in this video. Add a new folder. I'm going to name this aim hip. Drag aim space hip to aim hip and copy. Under content and I'm started back aim hip. Duplicate aim space hip nine times. So that's nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rename the files as shown here. Aim H center. Aim H center down. Aim H center up. Aim H left center. Aim H left down. Aim H left up, aim H right center, aim H right down, aim H right up, and this is the original file, aim space hip. You need to edit these nine files according to this table. This is the start frame, this is the first set of frames to remove, and this is the second set of frames to remove. I'm going to show AH center, so double click AH center, press to front, so the first frame is to start on is 0, so you don't move it, and then you remove 0 to 0 so you don't do anything, and then you remove 1 to 87, so right click here and remove 1 to 87, and save, and close that. The next one is A H center up. So double click A H center up. Go to front. Start frame is 10. So you go to frame 10 here. Then you remove 0 to 10. So right click here and re remove. 0 to 10, now it says 0 to 10, remove that, and then remove 1 to 78, right click here, and remove 1 to 78, and then save that, and close. The next one is AH center down, so double click AH center down, and then press T front, and then the start frame is 20. So now you're on frame 20 here, so you right click down here and remove 0 to 20. You have to get 0 to 20 on there. There's 0 to 20, so you remove that. Then the next set is 1 to 68, so you right click here and remove 1 to 68 and then save that. Now you do the rest of the six files using the same procedure.
highlight the nine files that you created and right click and go to asset actions and bulk edit via property matrix. Under additive settings, set additive admin type to mesh space. Set base pose type to selected animation frame. Change base pose animation to idle rifle hip and then save all and close this under content anim starter pack ue4 mannequin mesh right click ue4 mannequin skeleton go to create anim offset I'm going to name this UV4 Mannequin Skeleton Aim Offset TD Hip. And double click UV4 Mannequin Skeleton Aim Offset TD Hip. Expand horizontal axis and vertical axis. Enter these values. I've already entered them. For horizontal axis, enter yaw minus 90 and 90 for vertical axis enter pitch minus 90 and 90 and then save and double click ue4 mannequin skeleton aim offset td hip now we're going to put in the animations The center goes here, center down goes here, center up goes here, left center goes here, left down goes here, left up goes here, right center goes here, right down goes here, and right up goes here. Now you can move this green dot to look at the animations. Now save this and close. Double click UE4 Mannequin Skeleton Aim Offset TD Hip. For preview base pose, put idle rifle hip if it's not already there and save that and close under content and I'm starter pack double click UE4 ASP Hero TPP and I'm blueprint double click and I'm graph Drag in the aim offset UE4 mannequin skeleton aim offset TD hip. Right click on yaw and promote to variable. I'm gonna name the variable aim yaw. Right click pitch and promote to variable. I'm going to name the variable aim pitch and then connect here and connect here and compile and save and close that.
and double click UE4ASP Hero TPP and a blueprint. And double click Event Graph. Find this node event blueprint update animation. Right click on Delta Time X and promote to variable. And I'm going to name this variable Delta Time X. And then connect this here and this here and compile and save. And double click UE4ASP, Hero TPP, and a blueprint. I'm going to show you how to program this blueprint here. First I'll show how it's connected. Press add pin here and then drag this pin to to here. And then drag this pin to here and here. Now I'll show you how to program the blueprint. This is minus 90, 90, minus 90, and 90. When you're done, compile and save. Under content, third per sheet. Double click player character. Uncheck use controller rotation yaw. Compile and save. I'll press play to test. Now the hands move when you move the mouse. And that's it, it's working correctly.